move in the car now. Oh, Camille, that can... You know, that can wait. Uh, please, come have a seat. We haven't talked in a while. Listen, you're making your mother ill. And I'm going to have to ask you to leave if these conditions don't improve. I don't understand. How am I making her ill? You cannot day after day churn out the grisly details of dead children to the mother of a dead child. Alan, I have done nothing of the sort with Adora. Oh, please, Camille. I know how jealous you've always been of anyone else's well-being. And to think that I used to regret that we didn't communicate. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is something Joya would say. Yeah, you really are like your grandmother. She would stand guard over this house like a witch. The only time she ever smiled was when you refused to nurse from Adora. Well, it has been really nice, Alan. Thank you. Camille, Adora has had a hard life. <laughs> Joya would come into her room in the middle of the night and she would pinch her. And she said that she was, she was worried that Adora would die in her sleep. You know what I say? And she just liked to hurt people. Yeah, I think you've made your point. I just think that if you knew these things, it might make you somewhat kinder to your yeah, mother. Yeah, I'll be leaving as soon as I can, all right? That would be a good idea.